make you arrive. Oh, word, okay. <laughs> 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 well, no, you got locked right up. Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Laura with Three Thunk Junk by Laura. Thanks for joining us Thursdays at 3 ish. We really do need a blooper reel. If you saw what went on before we ever heard Katie say go live, you, you would not imagine. Um, are there any highs we need to do, or we need to wait a few minutes before no, we jump in? Cares, yeah. Nobody cares yet. All right. That's lovely to know. Lovely to know. What did Laura do party? Nobody came. Uh, oh, thanks, son. I can start the customer creations winners. If you want to do that? Yeah, for all the people watching. Tom. Okay, so we're going to start the customer creation winners. First, we have. Who? And Daniel. And Hello. Mary Manish. Mary. Hey, Mary. And Jill. Jill. And Johnny Williams. Okay. Hey, hey Johnny. You need what? What's the romper room thing? Yeah, romper, stomper, stomper, dude. Oh, that's so funny. I don't remember that. I remember my romper stompers, but I don't remember the mirror. Okay, so first Thursday at 3 winner. You get a $35 credit, place an order, put in the note section that you won, and we will refund your $35. Did I not hide it good enough? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Is Cindy Martin. Look at these chairs. What? Is there a problem? Cindy Bess Martin. Is she a retailer and I just messed up? I have to give it to her because I already said her name now. Do what? No, yeah. usually the retailers don't win. Oh. There are retailers. That's not. The, I can say that out loud. We don't think that one's the retailer. We have a Cynthia Martin. Okay, so this is our before. Do you ready for the after? Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Tom, you should look at this. It's amazing. Boom! Wow. Isn't that fabulous? I know, I right? I've taken a million ones. Isn't that awesome? awesome? Yeah, it must have That's taken awesome. forever. Yay! Okay, and then our second. So thank you, Cindy. And our next one is, um, let me find it real quick. While you're finding these, I'm going to say some hellos. Hellos. All right. To Lynn Daniel, Dee Dee, Amy, <gasps> Mary, Mary, Michelle, Mary, Johnny, Michelle. Diane, oh. Diane, Denise DeFonco, Nancy Denise. Bradley. Oh, my stars. Did you, you need to say a thank you to Denise. Bye. Thank you, Denise. Your say. quilt. Oh, the quilt. Wow, that totally. I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. No, that quilt is so, so amazing. And I was going to bring it in, but I totally forgot because I didn't have my car with me and it's in my trunk. And we'll explain why she doesn't have her car in just one moment. Katie's life is just full of excitement yeah, right now. Yeah, I'm having a but lot of fun. sent <laughs> the most beautiful quilt. And I don't know, I guess her colors for her wedding are blue and white, but did you know her colors for her bedroom are blue? I doubt you knew that. Inspiration, fantastic, awesome. It's, it's gonna so look beautiful. Gorgeous. I she love called it. Matthew, and I called her. She did not. And Katie is always freezing cold, so you couldn't have couldn't have thunk of anything better. That was awesome. Um, thank you, Denise. Uh, and the card and the gift came on the same day, which are she remember she was saying she sent them separately. Oh, yeah. And they did come on the same day. That was so good. thank you, Denise. Deborah Marshall is our next winner. She used discontinued paint colors. That's the only. Only downside of what Deborah did. I'm gonna tell you the color so you can substitute and do your own thing. Two parts burlap, three parts French vanilla. So that would now be putty and oyster. Tintable glaze and tough top satin. Look at her staircase and then we'll show you. Okay, so she did the staircase and it turned out so great. She did her cabinets to match. So there's before on the staircase. Oops. Oops, can I push that? Yeah, there we go. Look at the staircase after. Ooh. Right? Katie, you make good noises. You did good. Ooh. Okay. They sound silly coming from you, Tom. Oh. Yeah, you yeah. always tell And then <laughs> there's cabinets before. We ready for cabinets after? Oh, isn't wow. that fabulous? <laughs> That's awesome. So that is really, really great. So yay um, to Deborah Marshall. You have a $35 credit. Place an order. We'll refund $35. Just put in the note section that you went Thursday at 3. Now, I'm keeping on with the highs because I didn't finish and there's a million. <laughs> do some highs. Nancy, Blue Beverly, issues. Denise, Sorry. Karen McQueen. Oh man, I can't. You can't keep up? Well, there's a lot. Well, this name is some. Naomi? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I said it right. I'm so you sorry did. if I said no, it wrong. No, you did good. Uh, that name found in the Bible. You should know that. <laughs> okay, so Sarah, Cynthia, and everyone else. I'm so sorry if I did not personally call you out to say hello. No, we're so grateful that any of you join us. We're so so grateful and shopped every single week. Love it. Okay, so Katie, show everybody a ring. And for those of you who don't know, Katie's getting married June the second. That's next 
Saturday. Not this Saturday, but next <laughs> Saturday. That's really scary. That's really scary. And so awesome, Katie. So awesome. So everybody ring. My ring. Where's my hand? There's my hand. There's my ring. It's got rubies and it's gorgeous and I love it. Isn't it beautiful? So fancy. Our heart's going all over the place for your ring, Katie. Well, I and think for it's your love. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So and then Katie doesn't have a car today because yesterday on the way home she decided to hit a deer. I didn't decide to. It leaped it was... out right in front of me and terrified me. Yeah, she called. She was really freaked out and in tears. It was scary. It was really, really but scary. My car is a total mess and I can't drive it. So that's it's... why I didn't have the quilt to bring today. I forgot to move could it from be, the car. Could be total. Do you think it's total? I don't know. Okay. So one it's more thing so before sad. we get into today's project world. is I need some advice because I apparently have to attend Katie's wedding. It seems the thing that you do when you're, what are you looking at? Oh, we have a question. Okay, what's our question? Can you paint on MDF for a countertop? You know, we're really not into the business portion of things yet. We were just socializing still. Can you paint MDF <laughs> countertop? No, not any countertops. Countertops we don't suggest you use the paint on. They get so much wear and tear. People rarely use a cutting board. We want you to love us, not be irritated with us. It, it probably is not going to stand up to the wear and tear on a countertop. We've got a couple people that used it. They're very careful. They love it, but it's not something we recommend. But let me just say, I've never heard of an MDF countertop, so my guess is she may mean cabinets. And oh, MDF cabinets, cabinets, yes, definitely, definitely yeah. on cabinets. I just heard the word countertop. And, yeah, I don't yeah, know. So. Yeah, MDF. Yeah, you're right. That probably wouldn't be a good idea. Thank you for all the wedding congratulations and. Thank you for saying you were glad I wasn't hurt. I'm glad too. I know. She, well, today her knee is really sore and your shoulder, right? We told her that was pretty normal. Yes. The way the seatbelt probably jumped around and her knee hit the dashboard. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's looks, my... Looks like she hit a Mack truck. Last it, it, frivolous it, it question. Her car. I have to attend the wedding <laughs> and I should probably wear something because otherwise it's going to attract Hold a it. lot of attention away from the bride. You're coming to the wedding. Yeah, and that's I'm going to wear be, something. That's going to be awkward for my day. So I need some <laughs> suggestions running across that screen for where to get a lovely dress that's not $600, that's also not size 2, because <laughs> I'm not size 2. So where can you buy a lovely heifer size dress for a wedding? So, and I'll just show you. It needs to be blue. Do what? No, I can't do it online. I can't do it. I've tried. I've ordered two oh. online. The first one came in, and I put it on, and it was like, could her legs be any bigger around? And the second one, which I thought was going to be totally a winner, was almost Tars. Who knew, until you put the dress on, that her waist and the dimensions of the equator were exactly the same. But when you put that dress on, you can totally tell. Here's the only thing I have that I love. I'm just going to show you this because, you know, everybody cares. Oh, My geez. shoes. They have an ankle strap, which I have not buggled because that requires some look up. Aren't they cute? So there's my shoes. So now see, I just need a dress. It's too sparkly. You can't tell that. Oh, I'm sorry. Just need a dress to match the shoes. They're beautiful. All right. So now we're going to start this. What people asked about last week was, and there better be all kinds of suggestions. Questions? I was saying that's not good suggestion they gave you We'll bring it on. Any suggestions? I'm open to anything. All right. We were looking, last week we were doing our do not thing, and everybody was noticing this and asking how we get this look. So we're going to get this look, and I'm going to show you any, um, you could do it just, I've seen people do it just on a dresser. Bless you, Jill. I'm so sorry. Yes. You didn't ask them where I could find a nice mankini for them. Because we're not doing a mankini and your suit looks stunning it's on you. It's a mankini wedding. You're insanely wedding. handsome. Right. So, um, this is what we're going for. And my guess is, because I've seen, and I meant to pull up a picture, if you took the drawers out of a dresser and fixed it so that they were shelves, you could, is there a problem? I was saying she could go over the whole thing. Yeah, or you not. I think you can do. see it. Fine. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you took the drawers out and made shelves in there, there are a lot of people that turn a dresser into a TV situation with the sliding barn doors. So that's what we're going to play around with today. We're going to play around with getting a look and to do this one, and then I'll show you what we did at the top. We did. By the way, everyone's complimenting the flowers you did. Aren't the flowers pretty? Katie yeah. and the girls helped. We had a fun day doing that. It was awesome. And there's really nowhere else to sit them. So enjoy. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, let me show you this too. Metallics. Because a lot of people ask about metallics. These are just not real silver trays from the thrift store. That's a real silver tray. It is not a real silver tray. It is tray. a real silver tray. It's not a real silver tray. They don't put stickers on real silver trays. Does it say sterling silver? No, it does not. I can't read it because I can't see it. It doesn't say <laughs> real silver tray. Okay, so this one, the metallics are on the blue lace. Can you see the shimmer on it? That's pearl. Can you see just a little bit? Yeah. And then you can totally see this one. Look how cool that one is. I am. No, you can definitely tell. Yeah, I can totally see. So way cool. Let me see that one that's not silver. 
You're not gonna, I'll let you see it later. You can play with it later, honey. How do I get a barn board look on brown paneling? On brown paneling. Same way we're doing this. We're gonna show you. This is raw wood, but you could start with anything and the steps would all be the same. So, what you're gonna do first is, Pull that color out just for a moment. Can you do a butt shot? Okay. <laughs> Tom? What? The evil butt. What? Can you do a butt shot? No. no. Did Tom? No. You can't laugh and not tell me why. That's just. Sometimes no. life is fun. Not. Okay, we're starting with putty. You can mix up the colors, change them up, and get more of a gray look if that's what you want. We're doing what was back here since that was what was asked about. So, first thing you're gonna do is paint your entire thing, whether it's raw wood, whether it's cherry, whether it's what did somebody say, brown, brown, no matter what, what it is. What about Laura? What about hickory? Tom, you're gonna <laughs> paint it putty. I'm so glad you asked. Pecan. 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 Now that one you don't need. Yes, everything you're starting with, you can start and paint it putty. Okay. If I was doing grays, I'd probably go with gray mist as a. Can you do the same paint on copper chargers? Yeah, it's sticking to the metal on these, no problem. Did you say no? No. Did you say no? No. Oh. oh, okay. Well, because you know you're, you know what you're talking about. As far as this, Wait. as far as the paint is concerned, <laughs> yeah, as far as the paint is concerned. That was our little dingleberry that sometimes gets stuck in there, but it's totally worth it because these jars are awesome. These little plastic bottles. Okay, so. You're going to put your putty on here, and you're going to get a pretty good coat, but you're going to paint the whole thing. All we did with this, if you're making one from scratch, start with measuring your opening, top to bottom, and see, apparently there are several different styles. Do you see this one? And then do you see the one you made, Tom? Did I make it wrong? I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. You can do whatever you want. This goes all the way to the top and the bottom. Tom came in a little bit, which actually looks really cool. The other option you have is adding shwoom, that to it you know, the little diagonal piece, which we didn't do because that requires diagonal cutting and I don't like that. I mean, I love it, but I don't like doing it. So paint it putty, but you're gonna measure up and down and sideways. And we got, what are these? One by four. One by two. Are they? Yep. Okay, and these are one by fours? Or one by fours. Okay, so one by fours on this bigger one. He made me a mini one and it's one by twos. So take whatever you're doing, paint it putty. Once you do that, I have a brown board and I want to paint it black. Once you do that, what is that? <laughs> I don't that even was know. a song. From the road. Yeah, well, I had to change it to fit. Yeah. Yeah. We're going with cotton. No, it's a, and midnight. Midnight's going to be hard to see. Amy oh, Winehouse, that's okay. Stuff. These brushes you don't use for painting furniture because they're going to drop hairs. It leave brush strokes, but I want brush strokes because I want rustic. So we're going to start with the midnight, and so you can see it, we're going to dry brush, which means I just want a little bit of paint on my brush, a little bit of paint. Are you only doing one coat of putty? No, I'll do another coat. This one has two coats on it, so I got a solid coat. That was a great question. I'm just letting that dry, and I had another board ready, you know, like on the cooking shows. Look what we have in the oven. Um, so this even has some junk on it, but it's just to show you what you can do. So you're going to take the midnight first. And this is personal preference, put on as much as you want. Okay, there's too much there, right? <laughs> that, worked Ooh, out for you. <laughs> that did not work out for me. This is on the blooper reel. Here we go. No, but that's good, showing you you can fix anything. If I had waited for it to dry, which I did not, all you're gonna do is paint over it. We're gonna make it work even with that. Okay? Because it really is an easy thing to do. You can keep on laughing, Tom. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in a happy mood. That's awesome. Okay. That I'm will be our mess up my... spot. But you realize that if I did take the time to let it dry, I paint over it putty and it's just like I've started over again. So there's no reason to be stressed about what you're doing because it's so easy to fix. What are you looking at? Tess. He was reading the show up and he said, hi, Alicia. They're talking amongst themselves? They're leaving me out of the conversation? Well, they were bored. Thanks, Tom. How have you been on one today? That's lovely. Huh? Lovely. Now, no, I didn't mean to do it. I got caught and we're doing the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, you hit my pointer. This is what you get. Okay, and I'm not going to put it over that because it's our mess up spot. But you can see what? 
long question. Okay, ask me. It's covering my screen. Help, I'm redoing a side table and my mom went to midnight and I just got everything in today and I got flat top and I noticed in the little pamphlet that y'all sent that you say flat top isn't recommended. Do I make, did I make a boo-boo and order the wrong topper? Go Tom, this is your area of expertise. What's she doing? She midnight, midnight, midnight and she ordered flat, flat top. top. For, for, for what piece of furniture? Um, side table? Side table? Yeah. A little side table. Just don't put any flat top on it. Paint it. It'll be protected and see how it looks. The only, you can still put it on there. It just makes it look a little duller. So paint it, leave it for a day or two. If you love it, great. It'll work, don't worry. But if you uh, if you decide you want it not to be, it'll have just a little bit of sheen. If you decide, you know what, I really don't want that to have sheen, try a little spot and see if you like the flat top. If not, don't worry about it, you're good. Does that help? And if that doesn't get it, just give us a call tomorrow or you know, or Tuesday or so, because we'll be out for Memorial Day. And uh, we'll be glad to, to get you fixed up and get you to take care of. Can you mix the paint with flat top? Is that a question on there? No, that's my question. This is not the time for you to ask questions. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you can mix the paint with. You can mix paint with flat top. And Tom, why would you do that? Why would she? Why would you do that? It would give you more sheen. It would, it would avoid it taking out the sheen. So you could do that. So you could mix your midnight with the flat top and use what you've got. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So. Thanks, Jill. That was a great question. Yeah, there's some options. But you may paint it with the black and absolutely love it. And, it, and you shouldn't. Unless she's going to use it a whole lot, you should be fine. Okay, our second coat of putty on this. Just so you can see, yes, we Michelle do. Michelle Lupton said row. she didn't mean to leave you out. Alicia's her it's a too late. new rethunk junkie, so we have to welcome her. A little too late. Welcome. That's awesome. Yay. A little too late, Michelle. Okay, so, you know, I'm kidding. Um, second coat on here. So we've got, well, this says actually first coat if you can plainly see. Someone have a little trouble with the nail gun? Mm -hmm. Did someone have rustic? a little trouble with the nail gun? It looks more rustic. Well, there's rustic <laughs> and then there's, hmm. Did you use a nail gun or a staple gun? He used a nail gun. It looks like he probably didn't have his strength there. to remove the nails in there. What are we going to put on my tombstone, sweetie? I hate every one of y'all. That's the tombstone. That's what Tom wants on his tombstone. I hate every one of y'all. I've been saying that now for like three days. <laughs> Okay, so this is the board we did our two colors on. See, I can fix my mess up right now. So you can fix whatever you've done. When that dries, if I go back over it with the black and then, so. Where's my sander? Did I stick it? Is it plug in? Yes. Where? It's up way up front. You need me to go get Where's it? my cordless one? It's in the van. Where's my other cord with one? In the van. This is why I don't share. It just doesn't pay to share. Because I should be sanding right now so you can see how you rusted. Go get your sander? No, by the time you go, we'll have finished. No. That's sort of a version of the Jurassic Park. You can't Park. finish it without. Okay, by the time you've got it right. Right? Exactly. No, seriously. Seriously. All you would do now is distress. What I want to show you, though, is Katie might have to get closer for this. This is so easy because you've built your little pieces. Did you even use glue? Or did you just nail them together? Well, that would I used to look good, but that's that's just anyway. We're not hanging that up in our home. This. Oh, for that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, put them put them across. You see how they're straight. The reason that was at the end is because it's a long term deal. So this, the, you know how the end of. Um, You're saying is. the reason this board is up at the top and that one is at the very bottom is, it is to keep out. it from warping. warping. Yeah. So you want to put it at the very top or the very bottom. Yeah. Then instead of buying million dollar barn door hardware what we did here was we have this pole which I didn't even take the sticker off this is like a plumbing pole kind of thing so it goes come over to this side if you don't mind so it goes with these eye hooks right here see the eye hook right there the eye hook goes in then this pole goes on these eye hooks go into here so you're gonna See how it just comes off and goes right back on? And this will show you that, yes, we started with the raw wood, same thing, see? So, thread that on there, and then thread it here. And the only other thing we had to do, because it was kind of heavy, and this our piece right here is kind of long, is we put an additional eye hook right here so that this pole didn't sag. But now, got a little stopping point too. Boom, but you can get in both sides. They slide back and forth, it's awesome. So much less expensive and very, very easy to create. Any questions?
Are you done? Yeah, that's all we had to do. We showed him. You do the putty, then you dry brush, and you can get all different kind of looks. I'd love to see what you guys do because you can start with the gray and go with grays, driftwood. If you just started with gray mist, I would go with driftwood and linen over it to get this look. I'd like to see somebody try it with the stain tops instead of the paint. I was going to do that and ran out of time. So I was busy doing flowers for someone. <laughs> um, so try a bunch of different color schemes. Show us what you do. We would love to see it. It'd be a great thing to put on the page and enter the customer creations contest. Um, any questions? Happy to answer any questions before we go. What type of pole did you Is that? Can anybody read it? Kate, can you read it? Are you young enough? It's a happy. Still on it. That is um, a pole. read it. Right here. Can you guys read it? What the name of it is? It's kind of scratched up. I would go to like the yeah. You can use electrical. But it's not hollow. You want something that's got the the weight to hold the door on there. So don't get something hollow out of the plumbing department. But do get something. Yeah, this isn't hollow. It's it's just a fabulous little pole. Only thing I would need to do, which I forget all the time, get your eye hooks and your pole at the same time and make sure that your pole fits in your eye hooks. Yeah. I was gonna show them how that worked, but I'm just gonna say, make sure your pole fits in your eye hooks. <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> so, can any you make questions? it lighter weight with the composite board like your shutters you did? Yes. Yes, totally. Um, the shut that First of all, that's impressive and fabulous and Thank you that somebody remembers the shutters we did. Secondly, um, would you use that, or does that end up being heavier sometimes? Mdf can be even heavier, heavier than, than actual wood. wood, unless you use real thin. So either yeah, way, yeah, use something that's maybe half inch the, by the nice four thing, instead the, of one inch by four. The nice thing about using mdf is it won't warp. So wood over time will tweak and warp and cup. Um, as it absorbs moisture, MDF will not do that. So if you do MDF, you're going to get a better look for longer. Yeah, and just go with a thinner board. And yeah, just make sure you don't go work. thick. Any other questions? Those were good questions. And they can also use conduit. If, if it's, conduit. Even if it's uh, it's hollow conduit, you run electrical boards through it. You think it would hold it? Yeah. Tom says you can use a hollow. I wouldn't do it. Tom, Tom says it's you metal. can. Yeah. Tom says metal. Okay. All right. Yes. Any other questions? All right. Thank you so much for joining us. We truly, truly appreciate it. We will not be here next Thursday. What? Tom's family is coming in, and he will be spending time with them. No, we need to do this. We need to be here. Aren't your parents coming in Thursday, too? Yes. Oh, that's but, why we're doing it. No, no, no. Your family's going to be here much earlier in the day. So we will be mm. partying with Tom's family the next day. We'll be partying with my family, and the next day Katie will be getting married. So we will see you. Katie will be an old married woman by the time we come back for Thursdays at 3. So we'll see you the, the first Thursday in June, right? You won't. You'll be on your honeymoon. Yeah. So somebody else will be filming. So we will just skip one Thursday and then we'll see you the next Thursday. That's really all, all we know right now. So there you go. Thank you so much for joining us. We truly, truly appreciate it. it makes all the difference to us. We really, really appreciate your support. And Katie has appreciated all the highs and the howdies and the how you doings makes a world of difference to us. Happy rethinking.